What is up ladies and gents? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you should be eating if your goal is to be around 10% body fat. It's no secret guys, you can go to the gym every single day for an hour, but if your diet is not on point, then you could be potentially leaving 80% of your results on the table. If you want your body to be a Lamborghini, then you gotta put premium fuel in it. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. I'm gonna walk you guys through every single meal I eat today, and I'm gonna show you just how easy and delicious losing weight and following a diet can truly be. So if what you've been doing hasn't been working and you're tired of the same old boring foods that you burn out on in a week and I suggest you watch this to the end because I'm telling you if you follow and implement this it just might change your life all right guys I've been talking enough I think it's time to get this day started if y'all are in their epic video underway then as always man I'm here to do it for you let's do it yeah All right, guys, quick physique update. Don't make fun of the mic mounted on my hat. I had nowhere else to clip it. But anyway, I want to show you guys where my physique is at, right? You can look at how lean I am. I would estimate, right, I'm close to like 10% body fat. I'm using one of these pictures right here. When I look at that, I would say I'm close to 10. Y'all can let me know down below. I'm feeling real good, feeling real lean, holding on to my muscle nice. We got nice definition here. And like I've been saying, guys, when you eat the way I'm about to show you, it really makes looking like this an easy proposal. And before we start eating, I want to cover a crucial component of a meal plan, and that is hydration. My goal every single day is to drink a gallon of water by the time the day's done. This will not only fill your stomach up, keep those cravings at bay, but it's also gonna keep you hydrated, make sure your metabolism is running optimally, and it's gonna help flush all the BS out of your system. And if I gotta drink that much water, it needs to have some flavor. So typically, I put two scoops of some BCAAs in there, add some great flavor, tastes like Kool-Aid, or if I'm in a pinch, Mio's always a good option, or I'll sometimes do these zero sugar Kool-Aid packs. And typically, I'll drink out of the same gallon for about four to five days before it starts getting goofy and I gotta switch to a clean one. In case y'all were thinking I bought a new gallon for every single day, ain't nobody got time for that especially me. So make sure you guys drink up. It'll make everything that much easier. Now it's getting close to one o'clock. I'm going to break my fast and it's time for the first meal. Here we go. Meal one is gonna be my anabolic power oatmeal. Not only is this delicious, high in protein, easy to whip up. We can have it done in a couple minutes. You can also meal prep this out. That way it's ready in the morning, grab and go for you. As always, every meal I eat comes from the RJF anabolic cookbook, which literally contains all my diet cheat codes. But if you don't got it, I'll put all the ingredients on the screen right here so you can follow along at home. So I'm just gonna grab a bowl. We're gonna weigh out our old fashioned oatmeal. Then I'll just add some water up until all these oats are submerged. Then we just pop it in a microwave and all this needs is about 90 seconds. And from here, the rest is easy. We need 10 grams of sugar-free maple syrup. We need 16 grams of PB Fit powder. Then I'm gonna add one scoop of vanilla protein. And now I'm gonna go in, get this all stirred up. And then once it's smooth and creamy like this, the final ingredient is our 112 grams of frozen blueberries. And all I'm gonna do is get these stirred in and then we'll be off to the races. There we go, guys. Meal one is officially in the books. We got this massive bowl of anabolic power oatmeal. This meal right here in particular for me is a staple when I don't got a lot of time. I'm trying to hurry, but I still wanna eat something delicious, high in protein, and something that's super filling. The best part about this is you can whip it up in advance. If you're on the road, you don't even gotta heat it up. You can eat it cold and it's still just as good. Three, two, one, let's get it. Mm. Ooh, this is a certified banger and always hits the spot. Now, in meal one, we're getting 402 calories with just six grams of fat, 38 grams of protein, 49 grams of carbs, with a whopping 10 grams of fiber. Literally, to start my day, those macros are perfect. I'm trying to get in protein at every single meal. I'm trying to keep fat low, calories manageable, all while making it easy and delicious. Now, looking at the time, I'm running a little behind. We got some errands to run. So I'm gonna scarf this down and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Come on. Alright, nice, beautiful, sunny day here in Texas. The only problem is it is so hot and humid. They're literally having the top down is a miserable experience. Seriously, it's like 99 degrees here, but on the weather app it says it feels like 114. So I hate to break it to everybody, but I really think the world's heating up. But anyways guys, now that we got our errands done, I need to stop somewhere and get a snack. And what better place than H-E-B. Guys, check it out. I still can't believe it sometimes, right? We've been partnered with HEB and Anabar for a few months now. And we've been doing so well, right? That instead of just being in the protein bar section, they gave us our own little end cap right here at the end of the frozen section. And we are basically their featured item right here. This is so nuts. I literally can't believe it sometimes. And it's all because you guys show up and you check out the bars. So every single time I come in, I try to get one of every single flavor. We got the cinnamon, the cookies and cream, and the fruity cereal crunch. Bingo. Boom. 
Now normally guys, just to make the videos better, I sit with my car off, that way you don't hear the air or the, any of the engine or anything like that, but it is so hot, I literally can't do it. So I apologize in advance. But yeah, meal two is gonna be Anabar, the world's best tasting protein bar in the cookies and cream flavor. And I know I say it a lot, right? And maybe I'm a tad bit biased. But if you traditionally don't like protein bars, these here literally taste like candy bars and you can't even taste the protein. When I need a convenient and tasty way to get in 20 grams of protein, this is always the move. Three, two, one. Mm. Ooh, literally doesn't get any better than this. Now, in meal two, we're getting 270 calories with 11 grams of fat, 21 grams of protein, just 22 grams of carbs with two grams of fiber. Once again, quick, easy, convenient, getting in that protein at our second meal, having something that feels like we're eating dessert, tickling our sweet tooth, but we're still doing our body some good and getting in some protein. So yeah, protein bars for me are a staple. They're so great when I need something quick and easy, and I lean on these every single time. And actually, at the time this video is going live, the Amazon Prime Day sale on Anabars is live. So we're gonna get the best deal of the year, but Prime shipping, make sure you head over to Amazon and check these out. If you don't like Amazon, you don't support big corporations, you can head over to theanabar.com and go to RGF10 will save you money. You already know you can get these in HEB. We're in every Hive grocery store and we're in a ton of supplement shops and gyms. You can always hit our store locator on our site to check it out. And if you don't want to do any of that, you can always enter the giveaway I do in every single video for a free box. All you gotta do is hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, and be subscribed to the channel. I choose one winner and announce it at the end of every single video. So make sure y'all do that. Anyways, guys, we just got our snack in. I'm probably gonna eat again in a couple hours. So I'll finish these errands up and I'll see you guys for meal three. Come on. All right, at this meal, we're gonna make a fast food classic. We're gonna be making an anabolic Arby's beef and cheddar. Once again, quick, easy, delicious, and perfect for our physique goal. Once again, I'll be referencing the RGF anabolic cookbook, but if you don't got it, I'll put everything up on the screen for you. Now, this recipe has a few components, but they're all easy. We're gonna need some thin sliced roast beef. We're gonna go ahead and weigh out 112 grams. And then what I'll do is set this off to the side and we'll microwave it right before we build the sandwich. And then for the low calorie Arby sauce, we need 16 grams of no sugar added ketchup. Then we'll combine that with 16 grams of fat free Catalina dressing. Then we're just gonna give it a quick stir. And then once we got mixed, we'll set it to the side. And I just pulled the roast beef out of the microwave. We're gonna add it to our 140 calorie bun. And I want this to be ready. That way, as soon as the cheese sauce is done, we can pour it on here and eat. And the cheese sauce is stupid simple too. We put the almond milk in a small saucepan, set it at medium heat. We're gonna take our fat-free cheddar. We're gonna place it down in. Then we're gonna slowly whisk it. And so all that cheese incorporates with the milk. And once it's all incorporated and looks like this, you'll know you're good. Now we're just gonna pour our cheese sauce right on top. Then we'll follow it up with our Arby sauce. And then finally, we'll place on the top bun. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to eat. Here we go, folks. Take a look at this. We got that anabolic Arby's beef and cheddar. You know, a lot of times when you're dieting, they uh, tell you you gotta give up fast food. And although we're not going there to get it, I find it just as satisfying to make the better for you version at home. So here we go. Three, two, one, let's get it. I'm telling y'all, this is even better than what you'd get at the actual store. Now, at our third meal, what we're getting is 405 calories with just nine grams of fat. We're getting 45 grams of protein, 36 grams of carbs with a gram of fiber. Once again, guys, you notice the trend. We're getting 45 grams of protein, trying to get that protein at every single meal. My goal is to hit 200 grams a day. Whether I get exactly 200 or I get over that, it doesn't matter to me. As long as I hit that minimum protein goal and my calorie goal for the day, I'm all set. Now, here's the thing. I used to follow the chicken, rice, and broccoli diets. I would do that for a while, lose weight, get in shape, and ultimately rebound because I was so deprived. Or I say I felt so deprived so I couldn't really eat stuff I love. But since I started doing it this way and I focused on those two things, the protein goal and calorie goal, it's made my life infinitely easier. I'm not scared of things like white bread. I'm not scared of things like cheese and sauces. I get to enjoy all the stuff I was before, except now those same foods that were bad for me previously are not helping me lose weight, stay in shape, and build muscle. Like I preach all the time, this is the best, most sustainable diet I've ever followed. And if you want to follow it, you want to have the ultimate cheat sheet in your pocket with over 300 pages and growing. Don't forget, you can always pick up a copy of the RGF Anabolic cookbook at the first link in the description box. Not only do we have a ton of amazing recipes in here, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, you also notice that every time I drop a new recipe video, that recipe gets added to the book for free. And all you gotta do is go get your updated copy. Yeah, you can watch my videos, write the ingredients down, make your own grocery list and do all that. But I know that if you have this in your pocket and you truly follow us in here, you truly do, and you eat like I show you, you'll see results no matter what, you just gotta do it. If that sounds good, hit that link down below and I promise it might be the best decision you ever make. All right, folks, I need to go ahead and eat this. We got a little more work to do on the computer. And then before you know it, it'll be time for the next meal. So let me scarf this down and I'll see y'all in a sec. Come on.
just finished up all the client programs. Shout out to Derek and Rosalie. You both are crushing it. Gregory Loden, Ben Statton. Keep rocking, baby. Updates complete. Getting hungry, though. Gotta feed the beast. And lucky for me, I had some leftovers after dinner the other night, so we got a little meal prep action going on. Now, if you guys didn't watch the video I dropped last week on this recipe, holy cow, I'm officially addicted. It makes a massive batch, great for dinner and also great for meal prep, because once again, you guys might not think it sounds good, but literally, regardless whether you microwave this or not, it still tastes incredible. And normally, if you guys watch my other full day of eating videos, typically right before dinner, I'm aiming more for like a high protein snack instead of a full meal. But obviously we got this and I don't want the leftovers to go to waste. That anabolic mac and cheese, ain't she pretty? Now let me get here and get a bite. Look at that. Super thick, cheesy, delicious, and packed with protein. Three, two, one, let's go. Mm. Ooh, and I mean it when I say it. This is the best high protein mac and cheese you'll ever eat if you decide to make it. Now, at the fourth meal, what we're getting is 451 calories with just eight grams of fat. We're getting a massive 61 grams of protein. We're getting 47 grams of carbs with a whopping 28 grams of fiber. Now, that fiber is literally coming from the special noodles I use to make this. If you want more information, obviously it's in the cookbook or it's in the video I just threw up last week. Check it out. 61 grams of protein, easy grab and go in your meal prep. Once again, we're eating food we love while losing weight. Really ain't much better than that. Now, at this point, I got one more meal in the day and I got to make dinner for me and my girlfriend and that's going to be here in a couple hours. So I'm going to scarf down about half of this. That's one serving. And then I'll show you guys how I feed myself, the rest of the family, while keeping it anabolic. Let's go. All right, guys, this one's a little wild, a little crazy, but me and my girlfriend both love it and it's the perfect dinner. We're gonna make an anabolic cheeseburger and fries casserole, easy to throw together, high in protein, and absolutely delicious. As always, I'm referencing the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, but if you don't got it, all the ingredients are up on the screen. First things first, we're gonna weigh out our fries and cook them, and while these are doing their thing, we'll start getting everything else ready. I've went ahead and placed our pound of 96% lean ground beef down in a bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and add 84 grams of diced white onions. Then we're gonna go ahead and toss it in a large pan. Then we're gonna go in and break this down. And all right, once we got it broken, up, we're gonna let this cook until it's brown. While we're waiting on that, we're gonna make our special seasoning. And for that, we'll start with 30 grams of Worcestershire sauce. We need 30 grams of no sugar added ketchup. We also need 30 grams of Dijon mustard. And then finally, everything's better with garlic. So we're gonna toss in 10 grams of the good stuff. We'll just go in, give it a quick stir. And then once the beef is browned, we'll add in our little concoction. Then we'll go ahead and get it all incorporated. And then once we got it all mixed up, I'm gonna let it cook for a couple more minutes. And then we'll go ahead and build the casserole. And now that we got the fries finished and they're crispy, we're gonna grab a baking dish and layer the bottom with our fries. And after that, we're gonna take half of our cheese, we're gonna layer it on top of the fries. Then we'll go ahead and layer our beef right on top of the cheese. And then finally, we'll take the remainder of our cheese and layer it on top of the beef. And now folks, the last thing this needs is about 10 to 12 minutes in a 350 degree oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in and I'll be back with the finished product. All right, we just pulled it out. Let me show you what we're working with here. Go in, get us a little piece, and bingo, guys. Take a look at that. I know this meal may not seem conventional, but I'm telling you, it's delicious with the fries, the seasoned beef. You got the onions, all the flavor of a cheeseburger, all while being super gooey, high in protein, and perfect for your diet. Now, this is a pretty big dish here. I did say I was sharing it with my girlfriend, so in order to hit my calorie goal, I'm only gonna have half of this. So let me go ahead, plate this up. We'll break down the nutrition, and then we'll crunch all the numbers, and I'll show you exactly where I finished for the day in regards to calories calories, protein, and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys at the table. Come on. All right, guys, you remember that giveaway I told you about earlier? Well, it's time to announce the winner from the last video. The winner is gonna receive a box of the best tasting protein bar in the world, the Anabar. The winner is Carlton Riley 3630 with the comment. Today marks seven weeks I've been at this weight loss journey. I discovered you and I eat at least four to seven of your recipes a week. I'm down 20 pounds now and I'm glad to have this help. I get to eat amazing food and not salads. Hey man, massive props on the 20 pounds. That's huge and I'm glad to have been able to help in any way. You know, I really think that uh, the world has us brainwashed that in order to lose weight, you gotta eat salads salads, right? That's the first thing that really comes to a lot of people's heads when they're trying to make a change like that. But honestly, once you learn that really you can have whatever you want, it really just boils down to hitting that protein goal and calorie goal every day. It really begins to oversimplify this entire process and make losing weight and dieting as easy as one, two, three. So man, props to you again. Thanks for supporting the channel. Send me an email through my description box and I'll get one of these lovely boxes of bars like you ASAP. And for everybody else, don't forget the prime sale is happening right now at this moment. And you can always visit theanderbar.com, code RJF10, check out an HUB, a high V, a supplement store, wherever it is you can find these bad boys. I know if you try them out, it'll be the best tasting protein bar you've ever had. Appreciate the support, guys. Enter that giveaway. Now, let's try this out. So you guys already seen what we got here. I gotta hurry up and do this because my girl's hungry. I gotta get in there and do the family thing. So let me go ahead and grab a bite. Hey, man, would you take a look at that? You can't tell me that doesn't look amazing. Three, two, one. 
Mm. I mean, seriously, this is one you gotta try. It tastes like a number five from McDonald's, except we smashed it all together and made it into a casserole. Now, my final meal of the day, right, for half of this cheeseburger and fries casserole, what we get is only 569 calories with 13 grams of fat, 86 grams of protein, only 27 grams of carbs, and we're getting in a gram of fiber. Once again, getting in a ton of protein, eating delicious food, all we're making, hitting that protein goal, absolutely effortless. So now if we add up every single meal I ate today, what we get all together is 2,151 calories with only 47 grams of fat, we're getting a massive 251 grams of protein. We're getting 181 grams of carbs with a whopping 42 grams of fiber. And boom, just like that, we absolutely crushed today. My minimum protein goal was 200. I hit 251 grams, which for me is perfect. The more protein you eat, the more full you are. We're also getting the benefit of protein having the highest thermic effect of food, meaning that the more protein you eat, your body actually burns more calories than it does with carbs or fat to digest it and break it down. And also getting in that protein is going to ensure that as I lose weight, my body is prioritizing burning the fat off me for fuel instead of the muscle. If you've ever seen someone crash diet and they end up skinny fat, it's because they didn't have enough protein. When you don't have it in your diet, your body's gonna look for it. And lo and behold, where's it gonna find it? In your muscle, because muscles are made up of protein. That's why everybody and their brother that you know, bodybuilders, physique competitors, even athletes are eating high protein diets. And then as far as the calories go, I hit 2,151, which for me is perfect. That's a pretty big calorie deficit. Here lately, if I finish the day anywhere from like 1,900 to 2,300 calories, I'm pretty cool with that because wherever that falls for me, it's still a deficit and I continue to see results. And that's even with me cutting cardio completely out of my routine. Now, I did drop that video and people were asking how it was possible that I'm getting in so many steps without cardio. And just to put it into perspective, let me grab my little trusty second camera. And keep in mind, guys, I didn't even go to the gym today. It was a rest day, so no cardio and no gym. And I'm still ending up with, at 6.30 p.m., 12,481 steps. And I'm able to accomplish that by simply being mindful, right? If I have to take phone calls for business or whatever, instead of sitting down and taking them, I'll just walk laps around my house and stack up steps. When I go to the grocery store, like I went to HEB, I park all the way in the back and make sure I have to walk all the way to the front. Just doing a few little tweaks like that helps you get those steps up. You're going to burn more calories. You're going to feel better. And ultimately, you'll get to eat more, which, hey, who doesn't want that? So yeah, guys, that's basically what a full day of eating looks like for me, right? I'm always switching things up, eating out of the cookbook, trying different meals, trying different recipes, keeping things interesting, and ultimately making and following a diet one of the easiest things in my entire day. Like I said, when you focus on the protein and calories and kind of forget about everything else, everything you've been programmed to think about, it really makes this entire lifestyle and living this way a breeze. And it makes it even easier when I got the RJF anabolic cookbook in my pocket because I know that no matter what breakfast lunch dinner dessert do I want cookies do I want boneless wings do I want a cheeseburger and fry casserole this thing has me covered and I'm guaranteed that every single meal is loaded down with protein and is calorie conscious that way we can eat as much food as possible get in a ton of protein while eating delicious food so I know with 100% certainty if you pick this book up at the first link in my description box not only will you have access to over 300 recipes this thing also grows every time I drop a new video and you get all those updates for free seriously if you follow us in here you truly do you'll see results no matter what you just got to get in that kitchen and do it if that sounds like something you can manage hit that link down below because I know if you do, you won't regret it. And there we go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I got to get in there and eat dinner with my girl. But real quick before I go, channel sponsor, Young LA. I'm rocking one of their cutoff tees and I got on some of their new signature shorts. And on top of that, I'm rocking some of their Calvin Klein boxer briefs. Not only do we get pockets and all the shorts for your wallet, for your keys, everything you want, the fit's incredible. The cutoff shirts are amazing because you literally don't have to cut anything off. It comes perfect. You're not ruining nothing. But quite literally, it's top-notch quality and it's all I really wear. And I mean that. So if you try it out, you'll love it too. YoungLA.com, my code RJ will save you money especially if you're dying and you're losing weight and you need some new threads, I recommend you check them out first. And if you think this diet sounds interesting and you want me to make you a meal plan specifically for you, where you fill out a questionnaire, I break down the numbers, build you a meal plan, meal by meal, break it all down for you and you know it'll work as long as you follow it. Check out my website, rangejaysfitness.com and I can get you hooked up. And there we go, guys. That's gonna wrap this video. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. If you cook for me, if you got some value out of this, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're not. And I promise I'm gonna keep all this amazing weight loss, anabolic recipe content coming. So with that, I bid you guys adieu until next Next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm teaching every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Wham, bam, bam, baby. Whew, we gone. Mm, that's incredible.